Now here I'm going to show you a couple of other things that you can do with the named ranges. So down here I have a cell reference F4 to F10, but let's say that I had the exact same, let's say I had created this before I created the named range. So I did equals average and selected all of this. And for this I have to actually go ahead and delete the salary name. So I'm going to go insert name define and I want to delete salary. Click OK. Now let's go back down here. I do equals average open parentheses and I select all of these cells plus one at the bottom. Hit enter. I get the average. Now say that later on I add the named range. So I add salary. I highlight this. I call it salary. Enter. And now I don't have salary here. I just have the static cell references. So say I want to change that to its named range. All you have to do is click it. Go to insert name apply, click salary, then OK. Now, when I double click this, you'll notice it has the named range in here. It may seem kind of pointless for this one example. Why didn't I just type it in? Well, it's because if you have a bunch of different <coughs> ranges, so you have a large number of them, say an entire column, and you want to change those names very easily, just select all of them, insert, name, apply, and then click the correct uh, named range. Now it's only going to put this named range in here as long as the cell references are exactly the same. So you can't mess it up. So you don't have to worry about putting in the incorrect range. Now let me tell you a couple other things you can do with the named ranges. You can create named range, you can create, well, names that have nothing to do with a range. So to this point we've been selecting a large number of cells and giving them a name. But what you can actually do, go to insert, name, define, and this window will pop up. Now this is going to allow you to create names for static cell references or formulas or particular values. So I want a value for the bonus and I'm going to give a bonus for 5% of the salary. So I want to call it bonus and down here where it says refers to, that's where you enter whatever you want. I want the bonus to be 5%, so 0 0.05. Delete all of this. 0 0.05. Then click Add. Now I notice here's salary, here's last name, and here's bonus. Bonus has equals 0 0.05. Now the ones that have cell reference, like salary, says equals the sheet name, and then the cell reference. The one last example I'm going to give you is how to use a formula in here. So let's do bonus if. Let's create an if statement for this. And I'm going to say that if, open parentheses, the average salary is greater than 70,000 I want to give a bonus of 10 percent otherwise give a bonus of 5 percent close parentheses then click add and you see bonus if so now I've got last name salary bonus at 5 percent and a dynamic bonus here Additionally, if you want to make a cell reference here, very simply, let's type in example cell, then click this little button right here, and you can select any cell in the worksheet or any combination of cells. Then hit enter, add, and you've got another one called cell. So let's go ahead and use some of these now. I'm going to click OK. So now I've got a bonus thing right here. If I want to see what any of the named ranges are that I just made, say the bonus equals bonus enter, and that's 
Now let's figure out what the bonus if equals. Equals bonus underscore if. Notice it turns blue. Enter 5%. But what if this last guy makes 150,000? That bonus turns to 10%. So that's a neat way you can use named ranges. So let's put some of these together now. I'm going to put this guy back at 65,000 and say what the average bonus is. Equals average open parentheses. Now I forget what I called the range for salary. So F3 then I select salary. Okay. Close parentheses. Shift 8 for the times. And now I want to use the bonus if. So I'm going to hit F3, bonus if, OK, and then enter. And the bonus is 3,350. So that's how you can use named ranges. And that's just about everything you can do with them. So to recap, it's really good to use named ranges, especially if you're using like a uh, sort of a semi-database with names. <coughs> and you want to continually add names to them. The only thing to remember is always have the named range go one cell below the rest of the data and when you put new data in insert the data and shift the cells down otherwise you can use named ranges for pretty much anything to insert static formulas or dynamic ones like we showed with the bonus so there you go